welcome to Yoga Bugs. I'm Lisa, your virtual teacher. And in this mini video, we're going to do a full body workout. But first, we're gonna do a very quick warm up. Standing nice and tall, bring your shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. This time, as you breathe in, lift your arms up. And as you breathe out, fold gently forwards towards your toes, seeing how far you can get. Now bend your knees, take your hands to the ground and shoot one foot backwards for your road runner. Feel that lovely stretch as you take the other foot back and hold in your plank position. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. Now we're going to come down into our cobra. You can either bring your knees down or you can come down fully on your arms. You decide. Well done. We'll push up into our cobra, keeping our elbows a little bit bent and have a little look around. Fantastic. Now, sitting back onto our heels and leaving our arms stretched out in front of us as we relax for a moment. Now, coming up onto your hands and knees, pushing your stomach through to the ground and giving me a nice smile in your happy cat. And as we get ready to arch our back into angry cat, we arch up and we take our head down to look down at our knees. And then we're gonna push back through for our happy cat and smile. And one more time, arching our back up arching up and looking down at our knees. Brilliant. Now come back to a flat back and bring your hands forward as you turn your toes and lift up into your downward dog. Now if our calves, this bit here, are feeling a little bit tight, then just pedal your legs just to loosen up your legs. Very good. And then we can just hold it for a moment pushing the hips up, the shoulders away from the ears, the arms out, and take a breath. Now bring your other foot forward through to your hands for your road runner. Bring your other foot through, put both feet together, and hang there for a moment in your ragdoll. And then we're gently going to roll all the way back up. All the way up, hands to your heart. Well done. So we'll start our full body workout with our neck. And we're just gonna do some gentle neck stretches. So I'd like you to take your ear down towards your shoulder, just by gently coming across like this. Now you should be able to feel this on the other part of your neck here. And if you want to take that stretch a little bit further, Simply bring your head, hand onto your head and gently lower it towards your shoulder, making sure you're not pulling and this isn't hurting you. Very good. And release back to centre, take the arm down if it's up. And we'll try that on the other side. Just again, gently taking the ear towards the shoulder. And if we want to, bringing our hand up just to encourage that a little bit more and really feeling that stretch on our neck and taking it nice and gentle and bring it back up fantastic we're now going to bring our chin down to our chest we're just gently stretching the back of our neck now bringing our chin down towards our chest Bringing it back up to centre and taking a slow look up towards the sky. Careful that we don't jolt our neck here, that we keep it nice and steady. And bringing it back to centre. Well done. Let's move from our neck to our shoulders. And we're going to do a lovely stretch with our shoulders now. We're going to bring one arm up and we're going to tap in between our shoulder blades. Now I'm going to turn around for a moment so that you can see this. We're then going to see if we can bring our other arm 
round to clasp our hands together. Or if they don't reach, don't worry, we'll just bring it to where it is comfortable. So that you should feel a lovely stretch on your shoulders. So we'll just keep it there for a moment, remembering to breathe. And gently release the arms. And we'll try that on the other side. Taking the other hand up, placing it in between your shoulders and taking the other hand around. Now you might find that one side is a bit more flexible than the other. That's absolutely fine. Make sure that you are focusing on your body and not doing something that hurts you. Brilliant, just hold it there for a moment. And relax the hands and the arms back out. Now you might want to do a little bit of a shoulder roll here. Backwards first of all, and then forwards. Brilliant. Now we're going to work our arms and build our arm muscles. And we're gonna do this through our plank. So let's come down to the ground. Now with this plank, we have to make sure we keep our arms straight. And that's because we're gonna do more than one. Now our plank pose also works our stomach, so we're getting double bubble here. So let's come into our plank by placing our hands down, making sure that our hands are underneath our shoulders, that we're not really far forward. We take our feet back and we hold in our plank. Now with our plank, you don't wanna be high up here and you don't wanna be low down here either making sure that you're holding it nice and steady with your arms and feel the strength on those arms. Remember to breathe as you hold your plank. Very good. And come down for me. Next, we're gonna try a plank that we move to the side. Just watch me first. We come into our plank and then we twist our feet and come into our side plank. Now, if it's a bit difficult, as we twist, we can bring our foot in front of us to support us. Let's try that one together. So everyone getting ready to be in your plank, make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders and not too far forwards. And we'll get ready to turn onto our side and hold in our side plank. Really feel that on your arms and come down as you need to. Remember, if you need a bit of extra support, just place that foot down. And then we'll turn back into our plank and see if we can try that on the other side. Gently coming in to our side plank. And bring it back down and sitting back down. Well done, everybody. Feel that strength on your arms. And remember, this is something you can practice at home lots of times. So let's move it now from our arms to our stomach. So we know we've just worked our stomach a little bit with our plank. And one of the best ones for our stomach is our boat. So let's stay sitting down. Bring our legs out in front of us. Bending the knees. Well, let's just have a little practice with our boat first of all by trying to balance onto our bottom and letting go with our arms. We can bring them out if it helps us to balance. If we roll back, then just come back up and try and keep that back nice and straight. You can straighten the legs, but you need to make sure that the back stays nice and straight too, that you don't fall backwards. Okay, let's see if we can hold that one a little bit together. So everyone sitting back down for me. Take a breath. Let's lift up into our boat. And let's hold it there. And remember to breathe. And smile. Fantastic, well done. We'll hold for five more seconds. 
two, one, and relax. Okay, now we're going to work our hips. We're going to do that with our butterfly stretch. So, staying sitting down, bringing your feet together, and letting your knees gently flap up and down into your butterfly stretch. Just feel the stretch on your hips here. Brilliant. And see if you want to do a little forward fold towards your toes. Don't worry if you can't get all the way, but this is just helping with your flexible hips. So just come forward as much as you're comfortable with, even if it looks a bit more like this, that's absolutely fine. And just hold it there for a few breaths. And sitting back up. Well done, and we're nearly finished. We're just gonna do two things for our legs, starting with a forward fold. So bring your legs out in front of you. I'm just gonna turn to the side quickly. You stay as you are. And we're gonna stretch down to our toes. So let's first of all just take a little stretch just to see how far we can go and feel the stretch here on your legs. Very good. Don't worry if you can't quite reach your toes and don't bend your knees to reach your toes. Just go as far as you can. Fantastic, sitting back up. Take the arms up as you breathe in. And breathe out and fold it forwards for me. Just going as far as you're comfortable with. Hold it there for a moment. Three, two, one and sitting back up. Let's stand up for our last move of the day. So we're gonna practice our chair pose. So we're gonna keep our feet together for this one, or maybe just a little bit apart. We're going to raise our arms up, and then we're going to sit down on our invisible chair, keeping the back nice and straight, not letting ourselves hang over like this. But if it's too strong on our arms, you can bring them to your heart. Okay, let's stand up and let's just do our last position for 10 seconds. Take a breath in and out. And let's lift the arms up and sit down on our invisible chair for 10 seconds. Well done, you're halfway through. Go a little bit lower if you can. Three, two, one. And standing back up. Well done, everybody. Let's take a seat on the floor. Sitting with our legs crossed, our hands on our knees, bring our shoulders down. And let's just take a few deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. So taking deep breath in. And again. Well done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little mini video. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube to keep up to date with all new videos that we release. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon.